Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about clock frequency division using decade counter. And for your information friends, the IC4017 which is manufactured by Texas Instruments is a dedicated ASIC chip which acts as a decade counter. And in this video, we are going to see how we can use this IC4017 as a clock frequency divider. So without wasting much time, let us get started. So this is a pin diagram of IC4017, which acts as a decade counter. A decade counter is the one which has 10 stages. This IC has 10 output signals. Now the obvious question would be coming to your mind, why 10 output signals? Because it is not a binary decade counter. It is a one hot decade counter. In one hot decade counter, in the first clock cycle, output zero will be high and all the other output signals will be zero. And in the second clock cycle, output one signal will go high and all the other signals will go zero. And the third clock cycle, output two signal will go high and all the other output signal will be zero and so on. And in the 10th clock cycle, output nine signal will go high and at that time all the other signal will be zero. And in the 11th clock cycle, again this output signal zero will go high and at the same time all the other output signal will be zero. So this way this decayed counter works. And it has one very important signal called the reset signal. So this is active high reset signal. When it goes high, it will reset the entire chip. So resetting means it will make the output zero as high and all the output signals as zero. So this is its reset position. And this enable signal. We usually we make this enable signal as high only during the entire operation. And this is the input clock signal where we will give the input clock frequency and using this IC4017 we will divide that clock frequency. So let us see how we use this IC4017 as a clock divider. Hence I have drawn the waveform of all the signals including clock signal, reset signal and all the output signals. So when reset is high, output zero is high and all the other signals are zero as I explained earlier. And in the second clock cycle, output one goes high and at that time all the other output signals are zero and so on. And in the tenth clock cycle, output nine is high and at that time all the other output signals are zero. And as I stated earlier, in the eleventh clock cycle, output zero will go high again and all the other output signals will be zero at that time. Now if you take an attention on all the output signals, they are all clock signals. Though their duty cycle is not 50%, but they are a clock signal because they are periodic and their frequency is f by 10, where I am assuming f as an input clock frequency. Friends, whatever waveform you are seeing here is a default behavior of the chip, which is acting as a decade counter. Now let us assume that you want to divide a frequency f by integer 9. Then in that case you have to play a trick. And you have to connect this output signal 9 to this reset signal. When we connect this output signal 9 to the reset signal, at this point of time this output signal 0 will go high and all the other signal will be 0. That means this pulse will be shifted one clock cycle to the left. So similarly all the other output signal will be shifted by one clock cycle towards the left. And all the signals will become a frequency f by 9. Friends this will be the final circuit diagram when this decade counter will act as a clock frequency divider and it will divide the input frequency by 9. So we will connect the output 9 to the reset signal. Now let us see how we will divide the input clock frequency f by 8. So in that case we have to shift this pulse 2 clock cycle towards the left. So in that case what we will do, we will connect output 8 to the reset signal. 
So when we will connect output A to the reset signal, our uh, output 0 will be high here and all the other signal will be 0 at the same point of time. And similarly, we can say that all the other output signal will be shifted to clock cycle towards the left. And all the signal will have the frequency f by 8. Now let us see the logic circuit diagram for that. So friend, this will be the final logic circuit diagram when this IC4017 will divide our input frequency f by 8. Friends, I have created a table for you people. For example, if we already have seen, if we connect output 9 to the reset signal, then it gives us a frequency f by 9. Similarly, we also saw that if we connect output A to the reset signal, all the output signal will have the frequency f by 8, we can use any one. In the same way, if we connect the reset signal to the output 7, it will give us an output frequency f by 7 and so on. So if we connect the output signal 2 to do the reset signal, then we will get the output frequency f by 2. And this way we can achieve any frequency f by n where n is an integer number using the decade counter. But the limitation will be the duty cycle will not be 50%. But duty cycle sometimes is not important. Only the clock frequency matters. In those cases, this decade counter can be used as clock frequency divider. Friends, with this I am going to end this video and I hope it would be informative for all of you. And those who have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it. And for the notification of videos, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.